What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Today we are going to be playing some more Fire Knight Champion Legacy mode. We are going to be playing as Tommy Bohannon. He is a featherweight. He's a brawler. He is from Ireland, Waterford. And uh, yeah, man, it is a very rough area. It is known for crime. It is known for a lot of things. Assaults, weapons, offences in Ireland. Uh, and there, that is where he's from. He's going to be close mates with John McKenzie, a character from the UFC career, uh, career mode, which is a very interesting tie-in. And uh, maybe we'll even see Tommy for the first time ever go over to the UFC and maybe try and get a few fights there. Maybe like a super fight with like a featherweight champion or something. But yeah, he's a, he got bullied at school. Um, he was into a lot of fights and it turns out he's the only thing he's actually good at is brawling. He prides himself on taking fighters' best shots, drops his hands, let him hit him. And uh, he basically says to him, is that all you got, man? I'm a freaking tank. You, you, I, I can eat all your damn shots. His favorite fighter is Mickey Ward, uh, known best for his trilogy with Arturo Gatti, which was an absolute barn burner. But this is Tommy Bohannon. I want to say a big thank you to Al for the character. I will pick everyone else's character eventually. I'm going to get round to playing as everybody's suggestion, just like I do with UFC as well. But here we go. Tommy Bohannon is the next character. We're going to dive in. And uh, we are in the amateur tournament. He is a brawler as well. I forgot to mention he's going to walk forward, throw bombs. He hasn't got great head movement. So I kind of wanted to make a fighter that doesn't have great head movement. I wanted to kind of just... Because I rely on that so freaking much. I kind of wanted this character to not have that. I wanted him to be able to just rely on his blocking, his defense in other ways. But here he is. Tommy Bohannon, Ireland, born and bred fighter. Ready to prove that he is the next big thing in boxing. And maybe even mixed martial arts. Tommy Bohannon in the blue. We'll see how this goes. And it already feels so weird not using head moves. It really does. We're fighting against a guy called Lopez. Good uppercut there from Bohannon. He's a smaller guy as well. Good shot. And I can't be as defensive. We're going to need to counter. If we do counter, we're going to need to counter on the offense. Need to put together some really nice combinations here. Lopez holding on already. We go two nice shots there, tagging him. I do want to say we've had some very good characters. Oh, Bohannon with a big shot there. And he could go down here. Bohannon absolutely slaughtering the dude up against the corner there. Let's go. Big left hand drops Lopez in the first round. This man could be the next big thing. Is he going to be a world champion? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments below. Very technical boxer. Loves the scrap. Loves to stand in the fire and throw bombs. That's going to be his main trait. We're seeing it here already, man. He's coming forward like an angry, angry dude. So I know we did get Antonio Luis, suggested by Swiftless Blonde. We also got Max Gunn, suggested by um, another dude in the comments. I want to say thank you for everyone who has suggested a uh, character. I will definitely play as everybody's career uh, eventually. What a good round for Tommy, though, man. A huge round there for him. We're going to go again. A good first round, dropping our opponent. 52 punches scored as well with aggression. That's pretty good. There we go. There's a free piece for him right there. He doesn't have great head movement, as you can see. Like, I'm not able to slip out of the way of these shots, so I'm going to have to keep my hands up and fight smart. The amateurs is always like a very, very interesting thing. You're going to see like how your fighter fights. You're going to see the range on him. You're going to see what combos work well. And already we're seeing nearly 70 punches landed. Big left hook there for Bohannon. Featherweight stand up, man. This dude is going to put the division on notice. Nice jab straight there. I do kind of want to take out Jack Carlton as well. That is something that's going to happen. I don't know if Bohannon's going to be the man to do it. Obviously, being a featherweight, it might be a bit too much to move up to middleweight. But, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Let's just let this career play out. We'll see. I will be playing as everyone's character, so maybe a future character can still beat Jack Carlson. I do kind of want to tie the characters in a little bit more. Maybe, uh, maybe we see some fights against some old faces, you know, that could be interesting. Like maybe Bohannon takes on a Martinez brother. That could be interesting. Or Alfonso Martinez, because he was around the same weight, I believe. I think he was a lightweight. Uh, so he's a weight class above. But Bohannon, 100 punches landed. This dude has so much pressure. I'm going to rip the body. Big shot there for Lopez, but Bohannon comes back with two nice lefts going to be a really interesting career mode. I'm very excited to see how this guy turns out. 
own bombs. Ireland, we have got the Irish trunks on. Obviously, you can't see them in the amateurs, but I think next episode you'll be able to see that. We have got Irish gloves as well. Shot there. Turning some fire from Bohannon. And this is what he loves to do, man. He loves to just rip shots. Throw a huge amount of punches. Big shots there. Oh, big, big straight. We're just coming in on the inside there. This one's going to be a little bit more interesting. Obviously having to rely on our movement, on our uh, on our shots. We're really going to have to rely on uh, just being able to have a good guard. Having our hands up high. There isn't going to be much head movement. I mean, there's still some punches I'm going to be able to sway out of here. Good uppercut cracked him. And we could get the finish here. Lopez down. Bohannon. It was a really good uppercut that rocked him. I think he was throwing a punch. And then we cracked him with the uppercut. But Bohannon could get his first finish in the amateurs. That is crazy. I do think Lopez is going to get up. He's taking his time. Composure is there. Two seconds left of the fight. Bohannon should have won that on points. Two knockdowns and a huge amount of points. Let's see how the judges score it. I think we won the fight. And we're going to be moving on into the next round of the tournament. We'll see though. Let's go. Did Bohannon do enough? He did a big win for Tommy in his first ever debut fight on the channel. A big, big win. Taking the man out. Almost knocked him out as well. That was kind of annoying. And as we can see there, a little bit of domination from Tommy. And usually I don't like to push forwards, but this dude is going to be all in your face, ready to kind of make it a bloodbath. We're going to see some wars in this career mode. I can't wait. I believe we are a featherweight, so if we move up into lightweight, we will be fighting the likes of Roberto Duran. I, I can't. That fight needs to happen. Like Roberto Duran v this little slugger. That's going to be interesting, man. Toe-to-toe, -to -toe, head on head, throwing bombs. You know, that's going to be one of these fights that I need to have on this channel. But here we go. Bohannon gets his second fight against Flaws. He's about the same size, same kind of build. The other dude was a little bit bigger. He's boxing so far from uh, Bohannon here. It takes a while to get used to, man. Obviously, we played as Carlson for a long time. And that dude, just he had such good head movement. He had such good, like, counter ability. And now it has all gone away. We need to rely on inside fighting. Making this dude kind of slip a little bit. I want to kind of make him miss. In the sense that we're coming in and countering. But we're really just trying to put that pressure on him. Trying to make him fold, I guess. Big uppercut there from Tommy. Huge uppercut. Ripping the body nice there. Going to the body well. I'm trying to come underneath these shots. Nice body shot. Nice. It is a gun show already, man. Okay. Both hand and coming in. Nice uppercut there. Clipped him with that. I know you guys wanted aggression in the last series. You're definitely going to get it in this one. Let me tell you. I want to say a big shout to Al for the character as well. You'll probably see him in the comments. If you see him in there, just say thank you. And say thank you to everyone else who has, like, suggested the fighter. And just thank you to everyone in general, man. You guys have kept this series going for so long. And, uh, dude, we started fighting out on the channel about eight months ago. I know Adam Wilson is still everybody's favorite. The first guy to debut on the channel. But I feel like Tommy could, could take that. He could take that away. I guess we'll see. Here we go. Good boxing so far from Bohan. Good shot there. Island stand up, man. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to tie the UFC characters in. Going to tie some of the other guys in. We're getting pieced up a little bit here by Floors. Still 30 punches clear, but still. Here we go. Let's rough him up a little bit. Let's back him up on the ropes. Big straight there for both Adam. It's a gun show right now. And already we're eating a lot of shots. Just because of the head movement, man. Okay, here we go. Trying to stay on him with that jab. The jab will set up a lot of combinations in this career. Big left. It is just non-stop action so far, man. If we can keep this up when we turn pro, I'll be very pleased. Oh, a big straight. The floors holds on. Can we still get him out of there? Got 12 seconds of Bohannon is slamming this dude. Oh, he's lucky. He's very lucky. But Hannon, though, almost getting another knockdown. Dude, this dude is the real deal. We're going again. Round two coming up. Or round three, even. Okay. These fights are going super quick. 
here we go. Big shot. Gonna load them up some more. Big, big shot there for Bohannon. And again. Moving well. Big left. Uppercut lands. He's starting to counter a little bit here. There we go. Big, big overhand for Claws, but Tommy just eats it. He says, is that it? Look at these combinations, bro. Big straight. Nice shot to the body there for Bohannon. And again, let's go. Big left. These are the kind of fights I want in this career, you know? Just absolute wars. Back and forth. Barn burners, baby. Big straight. And again, just whipping in these shots. What a fight. From the last second, dude. These guys have brought it. Jesus. Oh. And again, Bo Hannon just peppering this dude. He's getting tagged a little bit too. He's letting his hands go. Look at this, man. Oh, boys, what a fight. I do think Bo Hannon obviously got the victory, but what a fight that was. That was insane. Huge, huge fight. I want every fight to be like that in Legacy Mode. That would be absolutely amazing if that is the case. Two decision wins for Tommy Bohannon, though. Moves him on to the next round in the tournament. A big win again for this up-and-coming star. Can he get another one down? This one was a huge win for him. Let's go again. Let's go again. Pretty, uh, you know what, though? I was about to say that pretty close. 49 to 21 is definitely not close when it comes to punches landed. But there we go. We are against Berto in the next round of the tournament. Let's try and get him out of there. I want to try and get a knockout in this career uh, in the amateurs. We'll see if that's possible. Hopefully, we can do it. But let's rock and roll, guys. Let's get another fight down. I really do love all the love and support on the Fight Night Champion Series. You guys are amazing. Here we go. Here's the next one. It seems like this dude's a little bit bigger. Not much. Just means we're going to have to go to the body. Big body shot there for Bohannon. And Berto has already landed five punches. But Bohannon here, already coming back. This dude just loves to scrap. We're going to need to dig into this one. He's landed quite a lot already. He has the range on us. Oh, Hannah's just looking to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, though. Big hook there. Already just looking to throw combos. That's how you win these amateurs very easily. On burn nations. Even if one gets through, it's still a punch. No oh, Hannah's ripping the body. Look at a combination attempt from this dude. Already, what a start for this career, man. Very good prospect, this dude will be. And they're just taking each other's best punches. And just seeing what happens with it. Oh, big uppercut there for Berto. But Hannon answers back with a good left, though. Two big uppercuts. Oh, shot to the body there. Big hook there for Bohannon. And a nice hook upstairs. These guys are trying to kill each other. First round is down. A good, good round. I think, obviously, Bohannon took it. But he had to work for that, man. This dude's been landing a lot. Nice movement there for Bohannon. Getting him away from that shot. That was his legs, though. That wasn't his head. He hasn't really got much head movement, so... Okay, here we go. Okay. Not bad. This dude's getting real close in here, man. Which isn't too bad. Okay. Nice shot. Bo Hannum working well on the inside here. Just waiting for these openings. And he's landing close. Big uppercut there for Berto, though. Look at this, man. I've never seen a baller like it. Even we played as Wilson and his son on the channel. Baby Wilson. And legit, the dude, he never used to brawl like this. Bailey Wilson used to just wrecking ball you. He used to knock you out for fun. This dude just seems like he's uh, hes very quick. He's a nice brawler. He likes to just overwhelm you. Big body shot. I like this, though. I like the fact we're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe and trading. Like It's very good. It reminds me of like sparring. Hard sparring. Shots. Oh, big overhand. 
It always seems like we catch him late and then they get saved by the bell, as we see there. So close to dropping Berto. And there we go. We're going into the next round, man. That round was really, really a big difference in the fight. Tommy Bohannon really, really put it on him. Again with the shots. Big, big overhand for Berto. Whipping it in now. Nice body shot. Again. Good body shot. Just ripping these shots, man. Oh, big overhand. But Hannon comes back. Okay. Here we go. This dude's sitting quite well defensively. Already. By Hannon really, really drilling in. There we go. Big overhand again, and it's always late in the round, it seems. But Bo Hannon gets the time he needs and puts him down for good this time. There we go. A big shot for Bo Hannon there. Huge overhand. Rocked him, and then a really nice right hook there. Puts him down. He's going to get back up. It's the first time he's been down. And there we go. We are good to go now, man. And even if we, uh, we were losing on points, which I definitely don't think we are, now... We've definitely got it because of the knockdown, so. But Hannon trying his hardest to get a stoppage here. Nice uppercut. This dude don't even want to come close. It's another one down, man. Another one bites the dust. Tommy Bohannon gets his third win of this career in the amateurs. He is taking them all on, man. Another big win for him. Can he continue on with this good streak? I kind of hope so. And uh, hopefully he takes it into his pro as well, into his pro career. That's obviously something that we need to see from him. But there we go, a huge win again. The rounds were a little bit closer, but now we are going into the final. Is Tommy Bohannon going to be the tournament champion? We are fighting Daikonu. Can we get this win? I think we can take him out. I don't know if we're necessarily going to knock him out, but I do think we can definitely try. We've definitely dropped or rocked every opponent we've fought. Unfortunately, we haven't knocked any of them out yet, which is kind of sucky. It seems like we're catching them a lot earlier in the rounds, or a lot later in the rounds even. But this is a full round up, so hopefully maybe... Maybe this dude is cracked. There we go, a nice one-two there. And already, this dude's guard is kind of telling me to hit the body. Here we go, we'll see how it goes, man. Okay. This dude seems like a little bit more tricky to fight. Big overhand there. Here we go. We're just looking for these openings. Big shot to the body. And again. Nice left hand there. Going to back him up. Try and put the pressure on him. This dude's trying to close the gap. That's fine. Find that overhand. Okay. Big left. Stick that jab in his face. Here we go. Loading up. Big shot to the body. To back up. Big uppercut there. That was really nice. And again. The uppercut lands rush. They're opening up now. Now they're brawling. Let's go. That big shot kind of stopped him pushing forward and throwing bombs. I've got to say, this dude does hit hard. But Hannon definitely does hit like a truck, man. He, there's no doubt about it. He's nearly dropped everyone he's fought so far. Good first round for Bahannon. We're going to go again. All you really need to be in the amateurs is active, I think. All you need to be is like just throwing bombs. A lot of combinations too. Okay, you know what, bro? We're winning. I can't actually get him off me. There we go. Overhand again. That could be a signature weapon for Bohannon, man. He's rocked a few opponents too. And the uppercut. Here it is again. Okay, here we go, man. Standing in the fire. This is Bohannon's signature style, man. Standing in the fire and trading with these guys. A brawler through and through. Big shot to the body. Had to hurt. Loading up that jab. Overhand lands again. Bohannon, look at this pressure. Instant pressure. No thought about it. Here we go. Trying to land that big uppercut. And he, this dude just wants to hold on. He doesn't want to fight. He just wants to hold and try and survive, man. He's still got a few more rounds with Bohannon, too. And that is a problem for him. Here we go. 
to land the uppercut here. The head movement is not there for Bo Haddon. It's all about defense in terms of blocking, in terms of trying to evade shots. I think for the most part that is out the window. A good round for Bo Haddon though. Definitely should have took it, but there we go. We'll see. Going into round three it is a four rounder, so hopefully we can take this guy out. Big shot there. I'm just trying to fire off these shots so far. Okay. Big overhand cracks in. That was nice. And here we go. They're starting to open up again. Let's get it. The jab in from Bohan in there. Beautiful jab. Uppercuts galore. What a fight, man. This dude's like a speedster. He moves very well. Bohan in the opposite. Just wants to get you there and grind you down. Go again. And again. Oh, big shot. Bohannon pounces on him. And he is down. Another knockdown. Let's go. Can he get up? Can he beat the count? He does. Okay. He's still got a round and 40 something seconds. Okay. 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 Big shot. Here we go. Boom. There we go. Bohannon's starting to pour it on now. He knows he's hurt. There we go. Looking for that one big shot. Can we land it? Bohannon throwing three, four, five punch combinations here. I'm going to crack this dude. Good jab. Good uppercut. One more round is in it. Bohannon definitely won that round. A huge knockdown. Here we go again. Is he going to be the tournament champion? We have to yet to find out. Let's see. Boom. Shots to the body for this man. Daikonu's not done too bad, though. I feel like he's done the best out of these guys. Just Bohannon's just... He just lets his hands go. He doesn't think about anything. There's no hesitation. If he does get clipped and gets countered, that is just part of the game for him. He wants to eat their hardest shots, like I said. He does not fear getting counterpunched. He does not. He will throw five, ten punches to land... Uh, to land one. He's that kind of guy. The output is incredible. We're going to see if he can do it in his pro career. His amateur career. He definitely can. Oh, a big straight. This could be the stoppage that he wants here. Dude, he just swatted him down to the ground. Tommy Bohannon is like a swarm of bees, bro. You can't get away from him. Swats him down to the ground there. And is that going to be all she wrote? Is he going to be able to beat the count? Is Tommy Bohannon going to finally get a knockout? He is not. This dude has a chin of steel. And Bohannon's got 30-something seconds. We can try and stop him. Can he do it? Big shot. Bohannon, now they're just windmilling, bro. This is what we want to see. Big shots for both men. This dude's kind of covering up here, but Tommy is just bombing on. The combinations. 10 seconds to go and they're just throwing it all, man. Empty that gas tank. What a fight. Every single fight in this episode has been an absolute war because of this kid. What a fight. And that should be a decision for Tommy. We're going to see. And it is. Tommy Bohannon gets the, gets the win. And now he gets to turn professional. He does win the trophy for the amateur tournament. And now the next episode, we'll see him sail off as a professional can he do it? Can he beat some of the best in the featherweight division? We're going to find out there. A huge win for Tommy Bohannon. And there we go. It's also, all, always awesome to see the fighter of the tournament is Bohannon. But there he is there, guys. Anyway, I am going to end today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, smash the like button. Let's smash the like button on this episode. Obviously, it is a part one. Let's get it off to a very good start. And uh, all support will be appreciated. And uh, yeah, man, if you haven't already, follow me on the social media links in the description. And uh, yeah, man, I'll see you for some more fight night next time. Stelson, guys, have an amazing day. And I'll see you all again in the next one.